Hey there! Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. So guys, in the last video we have learned the process of the hardening heat treatment. So guys, this hardening heat treatment it no is nothing but the formation of the martensitic structure from austenitic structure. So this martensitic structure is having more hardness and more brittleness. So guys, uh, as this having the more brittle, this is not suitable and uh, this cannot be used in the regular engineering application. Also guys, uh, this part is very difficult to carry out the further machining process due to failure so guys uh, in order to make it suitable for our applications our desired application we need to reduce the brittleness and make material more ductile so guys so for this reason the hardening is always followed by the tempering process so guys please watch my video till the end so you'll get a detailed information about the tempering process so guys what is the tempering process so let's study this tempering process so as shown in this image this is followed by the heating holding and cooling in the air so guys this martensitic structure martensitic, martensitic steel gets heated and it gets heated below the eutectoid transformation temperature so that is below 727 degrees celsius as shown in this figure this is always heated below 727 degrees Celsius. So guys, uh, uh, in this case, in the tempering. But in case of hardening heat treatment, hardening heat treatment, it was uh, like uh, above the critical temperature line. So guys, this is very important pa point. Okay. So heating is followed by the holding process, which is carried out for one to two hours. So which is held at a constant temperature, guys for the period of one to two hours then after that after holding the uh, steels are gets cooled at room temperature mainly in air so guys uh, there are basically three types of uh, tempering process so guys as shown in this image the first one is the low temperature tempering which is done at 100 to 200 degrees celsius Next one is the medium temperature tempering which is done at 200 to 500 degrees Celsius. So guys this one is the medium temperature tempering 200 to 500 degrees Celsius. And the last one is the high temperature tempering that is mean typically for 500 to 700 degrees Celsius. So guys there is only difference in the temperature. So according to that uh, difference the tempering process is divided. So first one is the low temperature tempering that is 100 to 200 degrees Celsius. So during this type of tempering process, so martensite decomposes and gives low carbon martensite. So that is we can also call as a tempered martensite and the transition carbide. So guys, this uh, transition carbide due to the formation of transition carbide, the structure gets aged. Uh, uh, structure which is rapidly and appears dark under microscope so it is called as the black martensite because it's a black in color so the internal stresses decreases in this case so guys the there is decrease in the brittleness of a uh, martensite also guys martensite hardness is reduced up to 60 rockwell hardness the next one is the medium temperature hardening process which is typically done at the temperature of 200 to 500 degrees Celsius so due to heating in this temperature range the cementite is formed and very fine distribution of the cementite particles in the mat in the in the matrix of ferrite it observed in microstructure so guys as shown in this this tempered martensite plus carbide gives us the fine cementite plus ferrite which is nothing but the true stite so the mixture of fine cementite and ferrite is also called as 
electrostyte. So guys, in this process, the harden hardness is decreases. So in the whole tempering process, the hardness is decreases. In this case, it decreases up to 40 Rockwell hardness and uh, there is increase in the toughness and the ductility. So guys, as per this, this point is very important. There is a cemented particles in the matrix of ferrite. So as shown over here in this case. So guys, the next and the last one is the high temperature hardening. So guys, this it's done between the range of 500 to 700 degrees Celsius. So the strostite which we got in between in the medium temperature gives us the coarse cementite and ferrite, which is nothing but the spherodite. So during this process, the fine cementite gets converted into the coarse perlite. Okay, so this coarse cementite particles are observed in spheroidal shape under microscope. So it is called as a spheroidite. So guys, this is very important and uh, you'll get the uh, questions on this guys. What is spheroid? Okay. So in this case, the hardness is decreases up to 20. So guys, hardness is decreases much lighter in high temperature hardening. So guys, this process increases the machinability of material. So guys, the last one, the relationship, that is a relationship between the mechanical properties and the tempering temperature so guys what is that is shown over here by this image so guys over here this is impact elongation and all those properties are related to the tempering temperature so guys the first one is the impact strength which is increases by increase in the temperature now guys the second one is the percentage elongation so there is a small amount of increase in a percentage elongation with respect to increase in temperature third one is the reduction in the area so guys the reduction there is a increase in percentage reduction in area in this case the fourth one is the yield strength which is decreases and also the tensile strength so far decreases with the increase in the temperature so guys uh, please have a close look at this particular uh, chart which is very important showing the mechanical properties and tempering temperature so guys uh, so far we have seen so far we have learned uh, the first point is what is the need of tempering and why the tempering process is carried out so guys the need of the tempering is carried out so the next one guys i'm so sorry for this spelling mistake over here so the process of the tempering we have se also seen the tempering process in this case okay so hit we have seen the tempering heat treatment and we have also seen the types of the tempering heat treatment that is nothing but the low medium and the high temperature tempering and the last one we have seen the guys this uh, the relationship between the tempering temperature and the mechanical properties so guys thank you for watching my video so this is the relationship uh, between the mechanical properties so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to aim